Good evening all. Welcome to F4. As you can see, we're in Monaco. And we're about to start F4 in Monaco for the first time in a long time. And you see there's almost a full lobby. And I think there's some F5 boys just joining. F5 just finished because uh, Monaco is a long one. So uh, watch out. We currently have T-Rex on pole. Absolutely brilliant stuff from him. Mr. Bean just behind him. True streamer boy not too far behind. And Janaid in P4. Person Pat DNF, as has Rongson, as has Shotzi, who uh, somehow got in this qualifying because he obviously binned it in uh, F5. Isfod, the same, um, although he's not actually qualified because he, I believe, he finished the race, so congratulations to him. Elliot Parker came and went, uh, as per. And uh, I believe Black Wolf's joined. Hopefully, Sir Charles in. Rongson's DNF, as you can see, 112.0. Not a dreadful time, but could be better. Um. And yeah, that's the end of quality. Mr. Bean not going to improve. So two rates on pole. Mr. Bean on P2 at Monaco. This could get spicy. Very spicy. There's a uh, murmuring. There might be a little bit of a sprinkling of rain in the race. We can only dream as Mr. Bean is being Mr. Bean. Could very much get reported for this. I just probably heard that and continued. Sorry, we just want to miss the bean reverse on track. Um, of time session here is yes, the P5 or probably 4 3 after penalties. Um, in F5, not a terrible result, all things considered. But well, anyway, exactly, it is what it is. That is life better than most of our days. Um, look at the gap. What a qualifying session there. Mr. Bean and T-Rex on P1 and 2. Love to see that. As uh, a couple of people have popped into the 110s very late on there. Um, Filippo and Bios, they're great times. Um, so we would have actually been P P5 with our times. Um, that's pretty decent though, isn't it? It's decent. I have no idea what you're talking about. We're slow. We're, P we're F5ers. Yeah, but now we're, we're just, you know, we've sweated Monaco all week, mate. So, uh, yeah. I think it's fair to say because someone is on pole position... <laughs> Ronan Clark P1, Apotolfo P2. He is back. And I tell you what, if he wins here and Mr. Bean retires, which let's be honest, in Monaco it could happen, Championship is back on. Championship is on anyway. Let's go, Ronan! Boom! Let's go, Ronan. Let's go. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get a coffee Ronan's in the first gone. safety car. Uh, I don't know. Uh, any or it's a YouTube channel anyway. Um, it's online. It's, it's popped up on my notifications. It must be the old one, mate. Um, yeah, it must be the old one, yeah. <laughs> I can switch it. We could probably sort that next week, switch the new one. But um, I'm just... Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's popped up on the oh race. Oh, my God. Race streams. Is it full wet? I can't see yet. It's full wet. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's so wet. It's so wet. <laughs> oh, it's so wet. <laughs> oh. It's never been wetter. There's something else that's wet at the side of that, but anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely gushing for this. Look at this. There's puddles Jack, everywhere. Rapidly typing like that. It's like that cat meme, you know, where the cat is like typing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right then. Here we go. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm going to get a coffee for a safety car, so no doubt that'll be lap one. Wow. This is better than I could have ever imagined. Here we go. We have... Four, five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go. And Chris Paddy immediately gets a drive through penalty. So do quite a few drivers. Five drivers, six drivers. Five drivers get a drive through penalty at the start. Absolute scoreboard stuff. As we approach turn one, not too much carnage just yet. Oh, there's a couple of. Oh, there's carnage now. Chris Pat's caused it, I think. Oh, there's wings everywhere. We can see carbon fiber flying through. Everyone's still alive. Nobody's died yet, but there are a lot of drive-through penalties. And I tell you what, I did think they were holding it for a long time. As Elliot Parker has made nine positions up from that what start. What a and Chris goat! Himself, going side by side. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Alex is out! Alex is safety car deployed. Virtual safety car has been deployed. He has gone. The Ferrari driver, his left front wheel has gone. It's not the first time we've seen that today. Oh, that was a good start. Well done, guys. Thunder, thunder. Oh, it's dry in the tunnel. Excellent stuff. That's going <laughs> to cut the tyres in the tunnel. As, As time goes on. Overtakes Joel Curry. 
No, well, it's just, no, Joe Curry. True streamer boy is Joe Clark, but we call him Joe Curry. Why the hell anyway, not? Anyway. What happened to uh, Elliot? Poor guy. Up oh, nine and he's back down to P17. No doubt with no front wing. The full safety car has been deployed, rightly so, as people can't even keep it on track um, <laughs> under the safety car. Uh, as the possible race strategies are wet, wet, or wet, wet, wet. <laughs> as Matthew Rogson's lost it under <laughs> the safety car. <laughs> oh, no. What oh, well, mate. What is this? He wanted a day off. It's a good time to uh, to take it. Anyway, uh, the cattle is going on, so I'll leave it with you. I will look at Mr. Bean, because he's always entertaining. As I don't exactly know what just happened there. Um, unfortunately, Alex, we will not be restarting just because... Uh, well, it wasn't turn one. Right. So as I'm just inviting somebody and we will get back underway very shortly. Where is this one? Oh, he's going now. Eh? Alright, let's go. Right, so Ronan kept the position of P1, Apo in behind in, in P2. Lex Hot in P3, Philip Keaton P4, them two drivers switching positions. Your streamer boy Joel Clark in P5 and Mohammed Faizan in P6 as we go through the tunnel if you are watching Apple's Hopefuls POV. Pavel, the new driver, he's uh, he driving last race, is in P7. Janaid in P8. Jammies in P9. J I have to admit, Jammies and Joel, yeah, at least Javier is his name. They've been like. <laughs> they've been talking in the mercedes team chat in the server and it's just like what can we do for mercedes we can do this for mercedes we can work for mercedes these boys really want that constructors title you gotta love it and as it stands they are the, they would probably be getting quite a lot of points after the mclaren team if today's race was to finish daniel daniel blackwell up eight places is fought up five angry danish driver who's not in the lobby as usual is up three Chris Patton, five, a disastrous start there. Adam Zostick, who retired in the pits in F5, is now up, down three places. Jack Tebble, who's a new driver, down two. And Elliot Parker, up one due to the two DNFs. So, Monaco, a very famous track, only 78 laps. We are doing 39 today, as there's a few drivers calling for a restart in the chat about some wet weather conditions. You're professional race car drivers, boys. You should be able to control the car in the wet. Professional is a strong word. Professional is a strong word. This Jack has come back with his tasty coffee. Do you oh, coffee? it's... No, sadly not. It's uh, just a kettle. Oh, I need to get one, actually. Uh, uh, all in good time. <clears throat> so, anyway, what what have I missed from here? Sweet FA. Oh, that's a shame. No uh, funny stories, Darius, for me? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm still a bit annoyed from F5. Ah, well, we'll save the funny stories for the second or third safety car, I think. Um, I think that's the I way to go. I, I, kept my, I kept my composure for, like, 38 and a half laps in that race. And the last, the last like, going through the bloody swimming pool, I banged, and, I banged the wall and took my wing out. Yes, I think, I think we should release the audio of uh, me and you on the last half a lap. It's just me going, chill out, chill out, chill out, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, what are you doing? And he's fussing like a lunatic. I'm like, calm down, just finish the race. Because um, they were all at it. Vries was at it. He lost his wing in the final sector. Uh, I think you lost Bitsy wing and a couple of other people did as well. It was absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, everyone just lost it in the last sector. I was like, what are you doing? Well, it was kind of like, you know, everyone realised that, you know, we're all about to die. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the end has come and we need to get there as quick as possible. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was kind yeah. of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we move on. Safe car still out. Drivers still Sorry. left on the grid as we're uh, just under 10% through this race. Elliot's a lucky boy. Um, I wonder if anyone's underfueled. It was alarming that we, we were the only ones um, to do that. That was, that was quite quite scary, really. No one's underfueled. Oh no, hang on. There was someone. Who is it? It's Junaid. Ah, oh, yes, he's a wise cookie. A wise cookie is Junaid. Underfueled. How much is he underfueled by? How wise is he? I can't see because of the rain. Uh, 0.06.002. So oh, I'm on the wrong person. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I was on Pavel. I'm thinking that doesn't seem right. He's burning fuel. Um, yeah, so uh, 
Yeah, Black Wolf in the Ferrari. Oh, as the Alpine of Angry Danish. Bro. What's happening? He's overtook. Uh, Elliot's overtook him. Because he's in the wall. Oh, fair enough then. We'll let him off. This this guy has done about forty laps all season. Hmm. <laughs> he's raced every race. The AI has done more laps than him, I I imagine. Yes. He he did an absolutely stellar lap in quality. To be honest, I think he just paused it. He did one seventeen. Well, he's locking up in every corner now. I'm riding on board with him. He's literally locking up every single turn. It is hard in the wet, but um, it's making it look very difficult indeed. But surely it's it's more difficult to lock up in the wet, no? I, I don't actually know. Uh, to be honest, I think the safety car currently is staying out because uh, Angry Danish Driver is so unsafe to be left out on track alone. <laughs> and he's going to be safer with drivers around him? Safety, safety car, car in this lap. lap. Oh, that's <laughs> danger. He can't keep up with the safety car queue. I mean, that's that's the shambles, to be fair. Anyway, um, he'll be angry, as he uh, as his name suggests. Uh, Ronan going very slowly through the swimming pool chicane, which is almost like a swimming pool at the moment. Just the pool chicane. It's wet, wet, wet. How do I get my others? And they're away. He's gone. No little snaps. Mr. Bean's had a bit of a poor uh, poor getaway, but um, kept P2, of course. Um, and it's just Should basically... Oh! Bios had a moment, Filippo's... Oh, Filippo! No, no, no. What's happened? Every, everyone, <laughs> everyone seems to be going so slowly. Filippo had a massive moment. I thought he was going to get P3. Suddenly, he's in P7. P6. Uh, P6 as Pavel is right on the back of Filippo here as we go to turn four, which is also known as, as the casino turn. Up to Mirabau we go. Steady then boys. Down to Mirabau we go to the very famous hairpin of the Grand Hotel turn six. Oh, it's oh, it, oh I thought it was going to be a send from Pavel. As oh, Isfod what? is now retired from the session. Oh, Isfod. Safe's got deployed. And that will, and that will bring out the safety. I've not finished this coffee yet. I need to put the kettle on again. I might have time for the coffee too, to be honest, this one. Alright, it's, uh, it's worth it. So, where are we? I would have preferred this start in F5. Uh, we, we we had a bit of a nightmare start, really, didn't we? We didn't really have much of this break. It was relentless. It was a bit intense, alright. To be honest, it actually... It wasn't as bad as people made it out to be. I thought you know it was... what? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. It, was, it was excellent. Um, and it made me, for the whole week... Uh, play the game and uh, get excited about ERO and F1 again. So I think, I think a few people have done that as well. Uh, obviously you, um, Vries, Jammies DNF. Um, Jammies has gone now as well. Oh my god. So we've had as many DNFs under the safety cars we have. Um, without, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where Jammy DNF was. Lap. Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. Uh, somebody pits. Filippo, wing damage, no doubt. Um, Postman That's Pat's in the well. pits. Yeah. And uh, Elliot Parker is not in the pits. But yeah, going back to your point, I think it was actually not bad. You know, yes, there was incidents, but to be honest, there was no more incidents than a normal Usual. F5 race. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I think, to be honest, F5 is a great tier, and the majority of people reasonably sensible, and even the terrorists were, were reasonably sensible today as well. So, um, yeah, well done. I was, I was watching Ollie Boy for quite a lot of the race, and... Uh, he used to be a terrorist, but to be fair to him, he made some really good overtakes in Monaco, and and I don't really like to say that because we're in a battle with them. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was good, clean, um, capitalised on errors, risky but worked. So you know, fair play. As Alex Theodore is saying, they all fall down like flies. LMFAO. <laughs> what should we say? Fourteen F1 cars on Monaco. No, don't quite well, work, does it? Especially in my voice. Doesn't really know, but like, um, how many how many people do you predict will actually finish this race? Uh, three. We had seven in F4. Five, F5. Three. So. Um, six is the record, um, but that was with a full grid, so we need to hit four or five to to really make a record, don't we? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have three. I think that'll be nice. It'll be a nice story. And I'm gonna say the three will be angry Danish driver. Um. <laughs> Yeah, no, you, you you laugh. If he's in AI or race, he'll finish the race and then get disqualified <laughs> after the race. 
I think Janaid's a good shout for finish. Although he's in the middle of the pack, that's a little bit dangerous. Janaid just cuts the corner and overtakes Pavel. Um, what the hell was he doing there? Um, the the other finisher, Ronan's got the best chance because he's out in the lead, but not sure. Mr. Bean and him it could could come together. Uh, I, I'm gonna go the other finish uh, probably probably Black Wolf. That's a good safe bet I'd say. Um, so yeah, Black Wolf, um, Angry Danish Driver, and Janaid. For Janaid in the order of Janaid, Black Wolf, and, and Angry Danish Driver. Everyone else, sorry, sorry. you you gonna deal with. As nothing's really happening now, we're just we're literally waiting for you know who. Who? Uh, wait, uh, wait a second. We had half a lap. Of, what is this? What? what, what oh, he's spun. On, angry, he's spun in San Devon. This is look. Stay away from other drivers. He can't get further away from any other driver at the moment. He's doing the right strategy. This is safe. I like it. He's going to finish. He's going to win the race. I've changed my mind. Angry Danish driver, Janaid, then Black Wolf. <laughs> Filippo and Chris Pat are changing positions. You see, he's after hitting the wall. Yeah, don't worry. He's not DNF'd. He's going to win the race. Chill, chill. It's all part of his plan. I can tell. It's very clever. Very shrewd move, this is. Unless he gets lapped, then, then there'll be a problem, but... Um, is, is a risk of the safety car lapping at the moment. It's a real shame because it, it's basically extending um, the safety car periods. <sighs> he is actually racing though, so that's that's a that's a good one. I mean, to be honest, his name's a bit strange. He, okay, okay, so he's probably an angry man. Oh, he's retired. He's actually binned it as well. Has he actually been the car? He has. Yeah, he's been How in the chicane. in the car? That's going to bring the safety guard for at least another lap. N no, no, it'll it'll pit this lap. That'll that's actually saved us. So anyway, my prediction's gone down the toilet. Um, so I'm going to replace Angry Danish Driver with. Oh, I see a tough one. They're all DNFers. Um, a Jack Tebble because I like his name. Jack Tebble sounds like a. He sounds like a reporter in a superhero comic. Yeah, thing. yeah, it's great, isn't it, Jack Tebble? Um. You can go to has, Pebble, has, Pebble Beach. Has, Bastion has reported Stevie. Stevie what? has reported Bastion. Oh, for the same incident. No, oh, lovely. Same. Oh, hey, you could win this. Well, I'm, I'm reporting everybody at this point. No, Daniel and Drow will end up winning this. No, um, I hear they both cut the pit lane. <laughs> I've got, I've got no proof, but I hear that's what, that's what happened. Um, From who? I, I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> well, it's all happening now. But uh, his first name was uh, Ali. Safety car in the slab. Safety cars in the slab. The ghost of Shade Maps. Where was Shade Maps tonight? It's such a shame. I would have loved to see him in that race. <laughs> For all the 30 seconds. Yeah. With Ronan leading us off on this restart now, he hasn't gone just yet, has he? No. Yeah. Some attempted warming up of the tires in this he can't, race. He can't, race. And he can't warp tires up here unless it's, you know, pissing boiling water. It's not going to happen, is it? So, anyway, he's gone yeah. early and he's caught uh, Mr. Bean napping. Apple uh, Tupple. Tupple. Um, predict next DNF, please. Mm, Mohammed Faizan. Okay. I tell you that one. I like saying his name. I just like saying his name. That's it. I, it's like an autistic tick for me or something. Mm. <laughs> I, got, I went around the house one Saturday morning. I was like, Mohammed Faisan. And, and my partner was just looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> And I was like, what is wrong with Mohammed Faisan? Mm. <laughs> oh, mate. Living with you must be a, a laugh a minute. <laughs> I have my good days in my back. Tr true streamer <laughs> boy. Oh, side by side, the McLarens. This could be chaos. Teammates. Oh, he's backed out of it. That's very good teamwork. Well, and oh no, safe cars deployed. Um, oh, well, that was wrong. Mr. Elliot Parker, uh, not related to like Five Zan in any way. We will get to a point though that safety car will be ended. I'd say about lap 15, we'll have no more safety cars, and then we're going to see the carnage. I thought you were going to say Elliot Parker, not related to Peter Parker. <laughs> Chris Pat's retired as well. Another's gone. 
Hang on, we need some music for this. <laughs> what is going on here? Well, <clears throat> this is this will be the the record, I think. So, as we see, another driver, DNF, as uh, Jack Tebble, Pitts, probably for Slicks, I think it's Slicks now, don't you? <laughs> so we've, I'm we've, just, how we many have we had? Seven. Seven. Seven DNFs, three safety cars, one VSC, two VSCs maybe, seven DNFs, three safety cars. And how many front wings we've lost, right? Uh, Who's next? Mohamed Faizan, you're still sticking with him. Mohamed uh, Faizan. My money is on Zotzi. That's me. Zotzi, Adam. Adam's asked, like, who is the F5 Williams driver? Who are Yeah, yeah. I think goat. it's funny that's dry in the tunnel, though. <laughs> I think it's mm -hmm. really interesting. Mr. Bean's just overtaken T Rex. T-Rex is now really overtaking him, but Mr. Bean, I don't think he meant to, he's just missed his breaking point by an absolute country mile. As uh, Who's last now? Jack Tebble. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Um, it's just, just a thing to say, isn't it? I think the safety car's struggling to keep it on the road here. Hey, in other news, rain in China, you know. For the race as well, not just the sprint. So what's the story here? Is Red Bull just slow on the track? Like it doesn't suit them, is it? Uh, well, that's what they were saying initially, wasn't it? But you were watching how Verstappen was driving. He was just going off everywhere in the wet. So um, oh, yeah. I, I, I actually didn't watch this morning. Yeah, I think the the wet conditions. I mean, Norris is always quick in the wet, um, which is sign of a good driver, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I just think I think wet conditions not as great for them. Um, yeah, I, I want to quietly say, right that Carlos Sainz could win the championship this year. I've got a, I've got an inkling that, that <laughs> I have. I, I just think, I just think Red Bull, what a lovely story it would be as well. If Carlos Sainz does win the championship, I, I think I feel Red Bull, you know, Australia, they have poor, poor race. Um, Japan, they're always really strong in Japan anyway. Um, and I just, I feel like they're going off a little bit. Um, and in 2026, certainly, um, won't be the one for Red Bull because they're making their own engines and uh, no sorry not going to go well at all um, although saying that um, I used to go to uni with a guy I didn't know him very well but uh, he's now the uh, cost cap controller for the power unit department at Red Bull it's a fun fact he is actually yeah yeah uh, I won't name him but um, yeah I used to go to university with him um, and, and probably spoke to him once um which isn't probably enough to warrant a, a, a job there which is a shame really um but i know a guy who knows him better so uh watch this space and uh i, well, I clearly clearly not gonna get a job through that um but what a, what a story that would be as well um, and then i could get there for 26 with the power unit going down the toilet so um <laughs> as the safety car is in this lab <laughs> jack i like the way you took the story segment this week it's nice. yeah well you've got to do you know right you know i applied for a load of red bull jobs yeah. They've, and that was like December. They today sent me a rejection email. Well, we're in April. Yeah, we're in April, man. I mean, I, I was long gone. Anyway, enough of my woes. Um, I hope my boss isn't listening. Um, I've been applying for all these uh, F1 jobs. Luckily, they don't watch this rubbish. Um, As Ronan Clark is gone. <laughs> and he's got Apple napping. And Joel Corey is on the back of Apple Topol here. Up the run down to Sand Devon to turn one. Will not make the move, obviously. Send As we it. see Miss Sparks fly from the back of Apple's car. Obviously, oh. his ride height is very low, which isn't a correct wet setup, Jack Bailey. No, no, you've got to hire your ride height in the wet because of aquaplaning. <laughs> Everybody knows this, um, apart from, well, some. Apart from, apart but don't forget me. as well, guys, increase brake bias. And increase your fucking wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, the, 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 the McLaren, McLaren's for, again. The for McLaren's. They should the just switch. McLaren's, as Pavel is tickling Lex. Tickle. Tickle territory. Not that one yet. You can't really get it in Monaco, really, can you? 
Blow will stand well. Ooh, as Jack Tabble almost cuts off uh, Filippo's rear right, ring, rear right tire. Do, do, do. I almost killed you in turn one, you know. I'll have to send you that. That's why I lost two plays, as I was desperately avoiding as repeat of Singapore. As uh, Filippo down the inside of Slotsy, not quite. Um, not quite. I don't know why I'm watching the back two, but uh, it seems to be where the action is. Where are we now? We're in uh, Bean and uh, T-Rex territory. T-Rex just hit the wall. Aww, it's a side, a side. No, no, it's a side glance. It's just a tyre. Um, so he's actually perfectly uh, slotted against the wall, but uh, that'll damage his confidence. And Mr. Bean is right up his arse as he comes to turn one. See, it's and just that's exactly the what Monaco is all about. Monaco is about confidence. Yeah, you've got to uh, push, push, push. And then not hit the wall. Filippo by Schlotzi. Schlotzi by Filippo. Oh, he's gone into the wall then. Filippo's passed him and Jack Tebble has gone right through Schlotzi. Lovely, oh, lovely didn't stuff. He, didn't you say he was the next one to go? Yes, and he's hit the wall, so, you know... Let's watch this space, but for now we watch this, the front because uh, that is the excitement, isn't it? And that's what people want to see. If we've got many viewers, of course, we've probably lost a lot by now um, with our nonsense. Come on, Black Wolf, send it! Oh, he's tried! Oh, what's he doing? Tomorrow, oh, oh, my God, he was drifting through that section. He thought, oh, I'll squirt the throttle, and uh, he squirted a little bit too hard. Oh, 13 laps down, 26 to go. Always a surprise when you squirt too hard. Not not necessarily a pleasant one. <laughs> we have seven people watching us as Mohammed Faizan cuts the Nouvelle chicane Goat. all together as the Angry Danish driver. Oh, he's left the session. Boo! I can't I'm surprised he's wow. lasted this longest internet to be honest. But well done to him. I hope he's watching. Please watch it. Someone's I lost it, have they? Oh, Mohammed it's Faizan. Mohammed Faizan. <laughs> I said he would go. Yep. So Darius wins this round, 1-0. <laughs> Poor Mohamed Faisal. Who's next then? I'm still going to go slot C. Oh, he's always oh, cut the entry. He's absolutely cut the entry there. Report, report, report. Anyway, sorry for grassing you up, but uh, it is the way the world um, is last out reporting. That's cruel. Um, as who will be next? This is ridiculous. 14 laps in it and we've yeah, lost yeah. drivers. So, so true streamer boy was... Oh, he's really tickled up. That's more than a tickle. He's rammed him. Oh, that was nasty. Mr. Bean won't like that. He's dropped off T-Rex because of this little battle, I think. Oh, 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 oh yeah, Janaid! It's Janaid! <laughs> it's Janaid! Oh, it's going to face this race. has gone. And that's another... What is this? this is jokes? There's no safety cars. No safety cars they're left. Not, they, That's they've it. reached their limit. That's it. Oh my god. We have nine drivers remaining with 20. What is this? 25 laps? <laughs> I mean, it's not. Yeah. Uh, three. I'm going three, mate. Stick with it. But it comes a point, doesn't it, where there's so few runners, then they're going to take less risks aren't they you know if, if you sat in P4 you, you, you're not going to risk risk anything you're just going to cruise to the end T-Rex fastest <sighs> lap of the race so far closest gap oh no Jack Tebble's on, on the back of Black Wolf but the best one at the moment is True Streamer Boy and Mr Bean P2 and P3 Right. So, a lot to process here in F4. Lap 15 of 39. And Ronan Clark has just sailed away. Easy, isn't it? Anyway. Yeah, dominant performance. is on pole position and has, not, has led the whole time here. As Adam Zosnick is into the bits to change his front wing. Matthew and Elliot Parker are trying to become friends in the F4 chat. Oh, that's a pairing you don't want. <laughs> That'd be a very interesting pairing. Ronan not really pushing here at the moment though. Has loads of battery left and he just he, he is a comfortable gap now to Apple. Apple has won like the last three races in a row. Probably shouldn't be an F4, but anyway. 
here now. He's going to have his, ta his chance to win a championship in ERO with Joel Harris right behind him, though. In, in fairness, in. you know, you, you could argue that, you know, if Apo shouldn't be here, then neither should T-Rex. T-Rex is just as quick as him. He's just not appeared at the, the same races. The right so, yeah. yeah. Well, this is it. And Guy Sambera is not racing tonight. Either. Another very quick driver in this year. Oh, absolute uh, legend. Mr. Guy Sambera. Arthur and Munche. So, nine drivers remaining. Nine drivers gone. I think it is, or is it ten gone? Three. Six, no, nine, eight, yep. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, nine, yep. And I think Joel's getting a bit frustrated here with Apple. He, he wants to get he past is. me. Th this chaos. He's faster driver, yeah. Yeah, chaos is going to, to ensue soon. Um, I'm surprised it hasn't already. He's, he's tickling through the hairpin every time. It's a bit, bit cruel, really, but, you know. Well, I think Apple's just burning through his tyres. I think I think that's exactly what's happened here. Well, I think yeah, that there'll be there'll have to be a pit stop at some stage. Um, why not now? Well, this just benefits Ronan. All of this benefits Ronan. Mm -hmm. He could Six be in his own, of course. Oh, his jog gets very close to the back of Apple. They're probably going to get tracked. Number one. Yeah, he's almost well. hit him there, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. All he can do here is put Apple under pressure. I, I don't actually think he can make an overtake here. And Joel not in the has wet as well. Some form of traction control on. Without an error, you can't you can't make an overtake. No. But that's why he's putting. He can't put more pressure on this guy. Driving really well actually for now. It's, it's just on the verge of, of tickling. And then after that, there's a big gap to the rest of the field. Big Delta's performing um, between P4, 5, 6. Filippo then very close to the back of his Polish compatriot, Daniel. I think someone's just gone off at turn one, haven't they? No. It just looked like they went a bit deep, but they didn't. Mm. The, the skill that these people have, um, pretty impressive to keep it on the road for this length of time in the wet. Oh, he's going for it! Apo's giving him lots of space. I don't think I'd have given him that much space. I'd have swiped his nose off. But Apo's well, uh, defended well at the hairpin and no way you're getting through there. Um, good racing, good racing. Um, but yeah, I suppose if Apo does swipe his nose off, he's in the wall himself. So uh, good, good stuff. Great stuff, in fact. He's going to have a go, though. Just nice, easy defence. Just middle of the road, Apo. Nice braking. He won't be able to overtake you. Lovely. Easy. As Adam Zostek is in the pits again. Do you know what? I think if I didn't put them in fuel, yeah? Hmm. I could have pushed. And then I would have got a free pit stop for Soft. And I probably would have won the race. Potentially, yeah, with the fuel. But, no. um... Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Apo definitely cut the corner there. He's struggling the man is... And, and T-Rex is laughing his head off. This is just... Uh, this is just music to the ears of Ronan. We will check the, I'll check the, uh, warning self drivers. As Apple has at least one, he has only one warning. Joel wrote one warning, two warnings. I mean, does Ronan have the question? Ronan has at least one, he's only got one warning as well. So, Joel, the driver at risk for a penalty if he goes off the track again, which will give comfort to Apple because he will miss breaking points. It will have to go wide, and that will eventually lead to a track time penalty. So, interesting. It, but interestingly enough as well, even though Joel and Apple are very close to each other, and they're, co and they're costing each other time here, Lex Hod is not gaining. He's actually drifting off even further. So, a bit of a, a, bit of a delta forming here. Seven seconds between Lex and Joel, and then there's nearly nine seconds between Ronan and Apple. Ronan's just putting on a masterclass here. Just too good, isn't he? Mm. Just too good. He's, he's probably coasting, is he? 100% battery. Not really pushing. Ronan's in maintenance mode. He's in chill mode. Up under pressure. Well, then P2's good for Apo. He doesn't want to take any risks, does he? Um, even P3 may as well concede this position if he's getting a bit nervous. Think of the championship. But, you know, don't get away for free, but uh, don't risk a DNF. That's exactly it. 
He knows what he's doing now. Mate, if you finish this race in Monaco, it just proves uh, proves how, how far he's come, I suppose. Uh, to get past lap one is, is good enough. As so, Ryan is just really coasting here. Yeah, we've not had a DNF yet. Uh, well, for, I say yet. Uh, for for a, a few laps, which a bit concerning. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we haven't had another bet. Um, I, no, I've <laughs> still said Stotzi. What, what, have, what have you said? I don't know who I moved on to at this point. Hmm. You, you're one nil up, so, you know. Well the, well, the survivors are all pretty, you know, reasonable here. Like, so, mm. I, I'm going to have to go with someone who's actually close to somebody. So, either Filippo or Joel. Uh, Tristine Boy's going to send it down the outside of Ap Apo. No, he's not. So, Filippo or... or, oh, or, no. or, 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 or oh, his contact uh, there. Uh, yeah. of it. Oh, God. Penalty, penalty. Uh, well, yeah, but yeah, it's tough to overtake there, isn't it? But but that's exactly how you got the last warning as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, could he get them removed? Perhaps we don't know. Um, but Apo can't take the three second for granted. I don't think. I don't no, think Apo be penalised for the for the move. I don't. There's not anything wrong there. Um, it's just the actual. Could you get it removed for track limits? Maybe. I don't know. Wow. I don't. I don't think so. I'm who's the, who's the steward? I don't. Uh, I forget. Noise. Forget for four. Noise. Noise, 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 noise on myself. I, I help Alex. I, I, I help him when he's got a lot of reports. Oh, well. I don't think there'll be too many today. I think I think this was a good experiment. I think next um, next season, or if we did this again, uh, I would encourage the full qualifying uh, special event to be at Monaco. Um, it makes more sense, I think, than Hungary. Um, yeah. There's a lot of traffic. Monaco for the short quality um, and it's, it's hard to avoid sometimes I'm not reporting Nico by the way um, yeah, you know, it's, you it's, Nico? well exactly well, it's Nico nobody reports Nico well people do and I find it disturbing Ross. so I, I won't be reporting Nico because um, uh, he's a nice guy and uh, he doesn't mean any ill harm and he was genuinely trying to get out of everyone's way and it's just unfortunate that my car was uh, was where it was but uh, mm. That's my go. There is traffic. It happens. There's a lot of walls as well. And there's a lot of rain in this race. Kudos to these guys. Yes, they've all settled now, haven't they? Yeah, they're oh, Joel has oh, hang on. Pits. pits. So this is the undercut. This could be actually where he pushes like a loony bin. Yeah, it depends on how he's the commander, but he needs to come out of this, ahead of this McLaren, which is he's not, not going, going to, to. But he's going to have some free air, significant free air. And um, Adam Zostek has come out straight ahead of him as well. This is a disaster oh, for Joel. Yeah, but he's, he's lapped, is he not? So he can just go straight through him. Oh, he's lapped, yeah. Oh, the McLaren's close. The McLaren's close. Very, very close indeed. Oh, 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 oh. They're beyond close. They're beyond close. Oh, he's about to out of it. What a melon. Well, well, it's probably uh, pretty smart, isn't it? Well, it's Whatever smart, he but it's not very entertaining, is it? As uh, Stotzi <laughs> drives in the inside of him. Here he comes, though. True streamer yeah. boys thought, I'm going to have you here. He's going for it. Down the inside. Well, Pavel, Pavel should let him pass. Or he Agreed. He's got the fresher, faster tyres. Like. Agreed. Oh, he's oh, hit he's him. Actually... He's rammed oh, him. Oh, my God. What is that? He rammed him, didn't he? Yeah. And he sent him into the wall there as well. He's going to ram him here at this corner, probably. Joel does get past him, but that was... That was a bit naughty. Uh, it, 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 it was a ram. That was that was a pure ram into the wall. Um, me could blame oversteer or something, but I, I no, don't buy it. But anyway, Tristan Wood <laughs> needs to get on with it now. And if I'm Mr. Bean, I'm paying this lap. If you're Mr. Bean or Ronan. Well, yeah, but Ronan yeah, doesn't Ronan, care. He's got Ronan, so Ronan, much. Ronan's yeah, yeah. You got to, here he is. He's in the pits and he's not cut the entry. So well done to him for that. Uh, many Apple people do. His engineers. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forget he listens. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, should, I should have told him to stay out. Never mind. Anyway, I'll pose in the pits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that cruel. No, but it's a sensible thing to do because True Steam Boy's been held up in traffic. Not that he knows that. He does if he listens to the stream, so good. So it's his best chance. Otherwise, True Steam Boy's going to get through anyway, which he may do because the undercut be seems very, strong. Very, be, the but it's his best chance he's gone through easy. But it's... No, he cuts the corner so it's tight. It's the best... It's the best app I could have done there. Um... And he's got the, you know, he's got the penalty. Just needs to stay with him. 
Uh, otherwise, he would have lost the position. Um, definitely. A uh, lot closer than probably it should have been. Um, so Ronan now pits because he's got a free pit stop. Um, it's surely an obvious. And, uh, I know it's... Well, the interesting thing now is for Ronan, is, is he faster than Joel? Because if he's not faster than Joel, Joel has a chance here. On yeah. the fresher, faster tyres. Yeah, he, he needs to box now, does T-Rex. And, yeah. and, uh, and keep in yeah. mind. Yeah. That's, because you uh, remember, Apple was the reason why Joel was being held up. You yeah. Know, and Ronan was gaining that big delta. So this is the question now, is, as Joel is already over a second away from Apple. As T-Rex enters the pits, we, we hear some noises from the, the pit lane. Um, oh, they're, they're, oh, yes, lovely. They're welcoming him into the pits in the Alphatari <laughs> garage with style. Yeah, and uh, he leaves the pit lane and he'll be well ahead of True Stream Boy, I would say. It should be at least. Should be so, 10 yeah. seconds ahead. Exits the pits. As, uh, yeah, Lovely little tribute there from the Alphatari boys. Um, Anyway, <clears throat> Shushin Boy sets an absolute steaming lap. He's only four seconds behind Ronan, so that's definitely the right time to pit. Um, Shushin Boy's clearly got the pace. Uh, and that was... Don't forget, he undercut Apo with all that nonsense with uh, the McLaren as well. Yeah, so yeah that, he that's, probably would have been two seconds behind. Yeah, that's a smart, smart move um, from, from Shushin Boy. So, yeah. unfortunate for Apo, but, you know... Uh, B3 is good luck. Yeah, you, know, you take the points here if you have power, and, and you've got a 38 point lead in the championship. You just take points. A few races got? to go. Something like that. Um, <laughs> you know, a few races to go. Take the points. Just keep consistently finishing third, fourth, fifth. You, you win the championship. You don't need to do anything stupid. The DNF here is devastating. 38 points I think it's the yeah I could be wrong. I don't really follow this uh, championship. It's not not as fun as F5. But yeah, he's won the last three um, races. Yeah, yeah. But he's not had much competition. Like T Rex hasn't been around, does he? So, um, not the last two. No, he is. Oh no, he just he just was no T Rex just hasn't been around for Austria. Oh, is it just the one? Okay, well, we're fair play. Apo deserves it then, doesn't he? So, um, but then Ronan won the first two races of the season. Exactly. No, I don't begrudge either, either of them. Um, How is this? No, it's just not going back far enough. It's like, yeah. You get yourself sorted out, mate. Um, Schlotzi penalty no dnf still i'm disappointed we want that three three finishes um with 15 laps yeah it's not gonna happen is it it's a shame really as jack terrible now enters the pits the latest driver to change onto the full west terrible 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 the purple And Ronan is losing a slight amount of time to Joel here. He's got, Joel's got about half a second into Ronan's time, so Ronan is going to have to get a move on with it. Using the battery for some reason in the hairpin area. I'm not really sure why that's happening, but anyway. Mm -hmm. I think he's just left it on. Yeah, well, that's dangerous in these conditions, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's dangerous. Yeah. yeah, you can get a lot of wheel spin. He's just leaving it on. It's very funny, actually. Which one? Both of them? Uh, he's just leaving the overtake button on. True okay, Stream Boy yeah. and, and T-Rex, or True Stream Boy? Well, I was looking at T-Rex, but it looks like Joel's doing the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, but it's not the strategy at all. Look how much he's draining his battery, Joel. Yeah. T-Rex has done the same. Um, they, they clearly don't know how to use the battery. And that's just something we don't know here about battery usage in Monaco. Well, you don't and use Apple it for the is... whole lap. That's nonsense. Well, well, Ronan does set the fastest lap of the race as Apple is closing in now. Oh, yeah, Joel, you... you must have had a bad exit there to Ed Raskas. He's surely not gaining anything through the corner. Having your overtake on, surely. In fact, it seems more horrible than anything else. But then again, they've got full traction control on these drivers. Oh, so, so. so true streamer boys, yeah, true. He, he's, um, he's turned it off now. T-Rex has still got it on. Let's see if he's got it on through the hairpin. This can't have any advantage at all. Still got overtake on. Through the hairpin. Like, that little short spurt there isn't going to... You're not going to gain any time with the battery on, are you? No, I'm sorry. sorry. Philippo. Dumbass. That's Filippo into the pits now. Exiting now. He's going to come up behind Jack Tunnel. Philippo with a bit of a... 
a bit of a cut there on the exit, but anyway, similar to what Max Verstappen did a few years ago against Charles Leclerc. Uh, I will let him off. Mm. No, Fernando Alonso. As Matthew has retired to his yacht with Janaid and Elliot. Oh, that's nice. First that's one after the sweet. chicane, apparently. I'd love a photo of that. But then three just... I don't even know. I don't even want to ask what they're doing. As I've, been, I've says, been pinged a few times. What have I done? What have I said? Uh, machines pinged me for no reason. Um, uh, oh no, he did ping me for a reason. What was the reason? Oh, someone needed an invite. He's an angry Dave's driver. He's obviously got one. Um, I don't. I don't look at this. I don't look at Discord when I'm commentating. Obviously, I'm on it now. But um, uh, you've seen my cause of death. Uh, no. Um, grenade stupid. Yeah, it's a good summary of uh, what's going on. Yacht is the like, first one off the screen. Uh, a, a touch. Okay, we might need those for our defence. Well, uh, our defence. Um, <laughs> Hearn versus off. Has he actually reported you? Yeah, him and Bastion have teamed up against me in the reports. <laughs> oh, what a dickhead. I'm reporting for the pit lane then. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm sorry, if, if he wants to be a... a a prune then uh, I can be a bigger prune I am the biggest prune of them all negative pruno pruno as some big gaps are beginning to form now Apple over a second away from true student boy he's nearly five seconds away from Ronan so Ronan unfound fears of him being slower than Joel and then the driver in fourth is 26 seconds off the mark mm. Daniel mm -mm. back mm -mm. in fifth place mm -mm. After a stellar drive in F5. Pavel in another three second time, Pavel. And then behind Pavel is Jack Tebble and Philip Kito. After that is Zostik. So, 12 laps to go. And the race has really settled down now. Nothing's really happening, unfortunately, on track. No, it's a bit dull, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure we've got a story we can tell. Um... Do, 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 do. I don't know, I'm still thinking about, uh, yeah, five. What's the worst that's happening to you, though? You get an internet warning, like, I mean, who gives a shit? What? I mean, the worst that happens is you get an internet warning, like, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, I don't think I deserve one, but anyway. No, no, but, like, you, you can't get penalised for this stuff. Uh, <laughs> Joe's like, Joe's pretty fair. Joe, as Apple gets a three second time penalty now. Oh, Apple. Apple. Apple the Apple. Mm. Never mind, P3. <clears throat> Nailed on now. Just take it to the end. It's a doddle. That's it. Why is he pitting? Must be going to pass this lap. That's Before not worth it, man. Damage. I don't think he's got damage. See now as the Haspit crew coming out on the pit zone and they have got a wing in their hands. Now the question is, does Lex Hard get out in time? I don't think he does. He's going through the, the swimming pool section, section right now. No, Close it, followed by Daniel. It's tight, but yeah, it's not actually that tight, is it? No. But it, it, it appeared more tight it is than we remember we're in Monaco, not on an actual racetrack. Uh, and don't forget, the pit lane loss is less in the wet because they're going slower on the track. Mm, not much, but a few seconds. Oh, I never saw that. Well, it's like just be, being behind a safety car, isn't it? Mm. Because they're going slower in the wet conditions, the, the uh, they're going at the same speed in the wet as the dry in the pit lane, because um, yeah. they're limited. So, so yeah, it's, it might, it's not a lot, but the, the pit lane loss is, is less. I would make a fucking brilliant engineer, and no one will hire me. And, and you know, <laughs> irritating. You engineered very well after your unfortunate. Uh, it was all right, I suppose. I'm telling you, next week, Singapore. Oh, you're not here, are you? No, sorry. Well, unless, unless snooker goes very, very fast. Well, if you are here for Singapore next week, we're aiming for a 1-2.
Think it, boys, where we turn our season around. Yeah, I'm not going to sweat it, though, because it's, it's, yeah, well, we did, and then I hit you, and it did, well, it turned around for me anyway. We almost had a repeat today, but we avoided that. Uh, Singapore will be great without me there, mate. You'll be you'll be well away. You win without uh, without trauma. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Bean is is six and a half seconds ahead, so no no issues for him. Um, Cruise to the end though. No no funny business now. Wow. Let me just see the standings here because by the looks of it, Stevie and Joe are both Stevie and Breeze are both getting penalties. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you got P3, right? No. Yeah, P3. Zhao will end up winning the race. Daniel will end up coming second. But if I uh, get my three second, if I get my three second penalty removed, I'll end up winning the race. Yes, yeah. It'd be nice if Zhao would. No disrespect to you, of course. Someone's binned it. Um, As Jack Tabell's got the three second time penalty. Yeah. There. I don't. I, 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 Zhao has won races. He won, he won Singapore last season. Yeah, he won Singapore, uh, but he's won races before. He's won more than me, I'm sure. Um, I've only won two. Maybe th three? Yeah. Ma maybe only two, actually. Um, I'm not all many, anyway. It's, it's best thing. I, I, I thought tonight I might have a shot, you know. Um, but you, you don't have a shot when you're in the wall, do you? So. But never mind. No. 50-50 Ferrari finished, so that's all we can hope for. And the Hasboy is DNF, so it's good for the constructors. Um, Mercedes is making a big charge, though. Um, they might have overtaken us, to be honest, in the constructors. Um, yeah. I like how when the F4 race gets boring, we have our F5 debrief for the whole world to hear. Uh, I'm sure they don't care about Ferrari's uh, strategy, but uh, this is what happens behind closed doors in Ferrari as Mr. Bean gets the fast lap of the race. So it was worth pitting for an extra point. I will eat well, my words. Really we really had a chance to pull away or to pull away there not pull away but to catch up with Haas there are 17 points clear yeah um, and ne about, next week uh, you know you've got to get a good reserve um yeah if you get stuck with trade maps I'm sorry um but then I've not really done much the past few weeks have I oh the Austria was okay I suppose and then I've two weeks off um and we're another week off but we're back for Brazilian reverse championship order, um, which might be good for me because because I miss so many races, I should be out of sync a little bit. So it's, uh, I yeah, like Brazil as well. Crazy. So I might sweat Brazil yeah. that week and actually try and win a race. Is it sprint as well? It's sprint as well, isn't it? Sprint with no qualifying reverse grid. Yeah, I love it. I, I can I can do well there. I like Brazil. It's a good overtaking track as well. Yeah, so. won my championship in Brazil. Well, one of them. <laughs> Not that I'm flexing. But, uh, well, Jake, Jacob lost it anyway. I didn't um, I didn't really win it. Big assist from Zhao. Shout out to him. It was unfortunate. Anyway, nothing's That's happening. There's a really so. whole lot to talk about, though, here, isn't there? Uh, well, really yeah. We're filling it with, with something. Uh, who, who should we watch? Should we? I'll, I'll tell you what. It's maybe cruel, but I'm going to pile the pressure on Apo and watch him on a hot lap. As going up the hill, through turn one already, starting to watch. I'm going through Beau Rivage now. Up to turn four we go. This is turn three through the casino area on your left hand side. Right hand side, sorry, I beg your pardon. pardon. Now, down we go to Mirabal. Now, after going uphill in sector one, now we start to go downhill in sector two. Two turn five here, two turn six. Now the hairpin, a very famous, infamous corner here in turn seven. A nightmare for controller players as they cannot get a full quick rotation. On to turn eight where Checo very famously, in inverted commas, lost the car here in qualifying. Into turn nine, the very famous tunnel section on the run down now to turn ten, which is the new Val Chicane, turn ten and eleven. Will be the most tricky braking zone on this whole track. Apple takes that reasonably well, actually, in fairness to him. On to 11 now, and up to 12, up we go to Tabak. 12 now, tricky complex corner, it's very easy to lose your right wing there, coming in contact with the wall. 313 now, into 14, the swimming pool section, here we go. Now up to turn 15, 16, 17, on to the Rascas, La Rascas, and the infamous turn 19, where again, camber heavy, and traction heavy zone, easy to lose the car. DRS would be wide open if we were in the dry. And it was a hot lap, but unfortunately not. Yeah, it's 1.7 seconds off his best time, so he was uh, 
He's not, not pushing too hard. He's not going to catch ahead, though, is he? And hang on. Uh, when did True Streamer Boy get ahead of Ronan? Yeah, what, 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 what? <laughs> when, when did this happen? Chat, what? help us out here. Help us out. When did that happen? So T Rex is Ronan's sliding around as well. Guys, what happened? Give us, give us a hint. I'm not comments. I don't know if you are, but um. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Gene, Gene, you're watching. Uh, ping me an F4. What on earth happened there? Because we missed it. Wait, what happened here? Well, T Rex is in P2 somehow. Um, well, and Finance Trish... and Co is saying T Rex cut the pit entry. I'm actually reading the chat now. Did um, he? Elliot Parker, whose now his name is now Marceau or Marco, which was their name before, and Tame Antelope. Literally some of the worst race craft I've seen today. I can't believe someone thought that would be good. Full wet Monaco and you dive bomb Mirabel. In what universe is that a good idea? If we weren't in the same tier, I'd have you engineer me. Sorry, this is Elliot talking. Yeah, but I don't know who he's talking to. Well, pot kettle. Anyway. Hello, Suchol. Thank you for calling us the best commentator. Suchol! <laughs> I love the way you do it, like your mic just cuts off. <laughs> Sorry. He's... Anyway, focusing in on the race, which we actually have now, Ronan half a second away from uh, True Streamer, but I'm guessing uh, this was just from a pit. Go on, send it. Yes! Oh, he's right on the outside of him. Come on. Here we go. There's going to be a collision. He's going round the outside, down into the inside of the hairpin. What a move from oh. T-Rex. Ronan, you did not need to do that. It was absolutely lovely, though, and he did need to do it because we were all falling asleep. So well done to T-Rex. He's livened up this race. What an overtake. So all he needs to do now is let him by in the tunnel and do it all again. A bit late, sorry, but... But yes, as Ronan locks up quite badly there into the Nouveau Chicane. <sighs> Better late than Nevin Darius. That's, uh, that's what I say. I might stay down here tonight, you know. Not that anyone needs to know this, but... Uh, <laughs> I quite enjoy it. You know, when there's an F1 race on early, I quite enjoy sleeping on the sofa so I don't have to even get downstairs to watch it. I just sort of roll over, what? turn the telly on and, and sprint sprints on. So, uh, what one's the sprint on? At four o'clock, is it? Yeah, I... I <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to get up for it because I'm going to my sister's in the evening and I need to be on, on high alert with children so I, I, I can't... Uh, oh, where is that a massive slide? Oh! <sighs> Dear me, that was tight. What is he doing? Just take it easy. There's six laps to go. So, yeah, I, I need to be not tired but uh, I do like watching races live. Yeah, At the moment, the alarm set for half play. six... I was going to watch the sprint and then obviously qualifying's on like eight ish, isn't it? So um, I was going to watch the sprint and then quali straight after it. But it's going to be raining all weekend. Uh, well, the, there's chances of rain all weekend. I'm not saying it's going to be uh, pissing it down. Oh, 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 oh! What was that? What was that? R Ronan, I think Ronan's wings come off or part of it. He went over. He ran over something. Actually, I think it was a brake board. How do you take a brake board out there in the sky here? There's brake boards in Monaco? Yeah, yeah, but they're like up high. But yeah, it looked like high, yeah. it looked like there was one of them on the track. I mean, that's advanced brake board smashing, Darius. You need to take notes, mate. Huh? I don't know what you're you're, talking about. You're anyway, so Apple <laughs> Topo, eight and a half seconds away from Joe Clark. T-Rex is going to set the fastest lap here as well. Come that's, on. Everyone is banging in the purple sectors here. Come on, mate. Pavel into the pits again. Full send. Lovely exit. Ronan, Ronan wanting max points and the grand slam for this weekend. Boom! It's not fastest lap. It's not fastest lap, but it's two turns quicker than his best lap. It's not loads though, is it? What is fastest lap? Oh, he's... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's dear. Says there's more messages for us to read. Four hundreds in um, it with the fastest lap, so he needs to keep pushing. Elliot says he will... Uh, com he will engineer for you one day. And oh God, help me! Were, were aimed towards Chris Bat. Oh, Debris was already on the ground, is according to Elliot, regarding Ronan and his little rear wing thing there. I don't, and I don't. Yeah. Someone other than Ronan had damage. Well, Elliot, thank you very much for the update. That's oh no, love you. that, love it, because I, I don't check the YouTube comments because it, it messes up streaming and and you know yeah. watching a video at the same time. It's it's always a struggle for my internet. But um, yes, uh, 
no good thank you engineer for me one day not sure but uh, i appreciate the offer um it'd be it'd be, it'd be would be useful actually monaco to have had an engineer but i don't think it would have helped me today because uh, it wouldn't stop me crashing into the wall so well i tried to engineer and then you got killed well i think uh, oh it, well yeah but you know you you can't get people out of the way you can tell me they're there and i'm like oh, well yeah great can't move them yeah any ideas <laughs> As Joel is now like now eleven seconds off the pace from run. Yeah, it's too good from T Rex really is masterclass uh, five laps to go, four laps to go. Fastest lap of the race and for the Mr. Ronan Clark. Good two laps that was one mate. As Where? the first ten laps of this were absolute carnage. Yeah, it's just And then the rest of it was just nothing. Boring, isn't it? Yeah. Well, five drive throughs don't forget at the start of this race. And I think, well, from what I understand, a lot of this carnage was caused by Chris Pat getting his drive through, and then he was driving very aggressively. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 I did say at the start this is all Chris Pat's fault, but it was a bit of a guess, to be fair. But, um, yeah, it looked like he was the one going slow. Hmm. Anyway, where are we? Um, Tyres, T-Rex on the freshest. Yeah, nothing's happening here, guys. So, uh I don't know how to fill the last few laps. Um, as Shotzi has done something horrendous. He cut the Nouveau Jacquin. I think he's just going to retire in the beds. Well, if if the game awards him fastest lap, I feel like it should be uh, disqualified. No, Are you he's sure? Valid, well, he's not he's even up valid, anyway, I don't think. He's not quick enough to do it. So, uh, anyway, if anyone wants to uh, report this, uh, feel free. Um... Let's see then. Twenty. So his laps are one twenty-eight point seven, which is slightly worse than his personal best, and his straight line the chicane. <clears throat> I don't really know what to say about that one. Massive skill issue. You could argue he's not gained an advantage. Ten second remove, please. Everyone's slow. Everyone is slow. Everyone's just kind of. I post pitting. Um, because he's got a 30 second gap this for me right this is wrong this is this is oh no he's going for a wing okay if he's going for a wing then fair but even so there's a few laps to go just bring it home you've got a 30 second gap the i don't know it just yeah whatever yes. Uh, going fastest lap is a risk that's all I'll say I mean, if he does it great he gets an extra point and takes one off, off T-Rex as well but the, uh, risk that's all I'll say do it prove me wrong happy days <laughs> I'll send him more what's, what's happening now well nothing really happened the whole race has just died down now to be honest with you yeah. so. do, 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 do. we could sing a song what song should we sing? We could also not sing a song. You got any... Uh, <laughs> what else have we got? Spotify. What's Spotify on? This is the YouTube what? account that we don't give a shit about anymore, so we do what we want. Um, oh, that is very true, actually, yeah. It's a shame, though, because we've got a lot of subs. But, um, but this, is, this is the problem. We had so many subs on this YouTube account, but... A watch. Being a watch. Um, I don't really know what to put on. Um... Well, yeah, is, is Mr. Bean going to go fast as well? I think that's the only question now, isn't it? Um, I, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll do the, the, um, the spin the wheel for the tickets. Spin the wheel. The, everyone talks about spin the wheel. What, 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 what are you on about? So I put an announcement today up in the chat, in the server. Oh, yeah. That 24 people re reacted to for a, a free ticket, a potential free ticket for a copy of F124. Yeah. So, if you're not in, you can't win. No, it's great. It's good, good stuff. Things have improved significantly over the past year or so, in my Spin opinion. the wheel. Wheel but, of names. So is this... Oh, so like a screen share job. I think that's the best way of doing it, really. You, you can't I'm just a... be like, oh, this person's won. I still think the, the, the Rod Stewart... Um, you should get yourself on there doing the doing that. That'd be wonderful. Um, but people would argue it's fixed if it's not like you know, computer, yeah. soft, you know, app or something like this. So, 
Um, well, what I'm doing here is I'm going to I'm going to do all the names out. Yeah. And then after that what I'll just do is uh I'll back out of it. I'll screen record from my phone. Yeah. Like from the from the home page of my phone as Apple was just driven straight to Pavel when he had a clear path to do so. But yeah, he was like, Oh, he's in the Apple wall! Doing? What is he doing here? I've told you, there was a risk. What's he doing? Now, he's on lap 39 of 39, 11 seconds to Black Wolf, and he's almost DNF'd himself. Oh, no, he's on 38, is he? Sorry. He's only on 38. He's got another lap to go. And he's got half a wing, and now he can't What's pit he again. Doing? He was trying to get fastest lap. I told him it was a stupid thing to do. He didn't listen, and he deserves... To DNF. No, it's the story of Apple's life. Not listen to people who are over there. I feel like his dad, dad honestly. <laughs> you trust me? Don't, don't even. You just, you're just teasing me now. As no, his, un his uncle. Catch him. <laughs> yeah, I know, because he's got, no, he's got like half a wing. I told you, this was a stupid thing to do. Take the points and run away. Just take it easy. You can't lose 12 seconds in this lap. Damn me. Ooh. Well, Daniel's not catching him though all that much. I think I think because the old retires. But uh, well, he actually oh he really is catching. He's caught him half a second there. Here he is though. T Rex has won. Mr. Ronan Clark, amazing stuff from you, sir. Well done. As we. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. What a great story. T Rex coming up the ranks. All the way from F5, alongside Mr. Bean, challenge for the F4 Championship. It's still on! And he could do it, because Apo's driving like an absolute clown! He's actually wrong wall riding here. Ugh. And Daniel not really catching, though. I think Daniel's missed a trick here. Meanwhile... Apo rounds the final few bends to finish his race. What a clown. <laughs> oh, lovely. Should get me on the decks. Black Wolf P4 as Pavel bins it across the line. Filippo going to finish P5 and Bios P6. Nine finishes. It's a pretty boring uh, race, to be honest. Wet race in Monaco. You expect a little bit more chaos, um, but you've filtered out the chaos uh, originally um, in the first 10 laps. And then after that, it was a bit dull. But well done, T-Rex. Didn't do a lot wrong. Um, neither did True Stream Boy. Up a couple of things wrong, but P3. Good result for the championship for him. And my voice has... Almost gone. As this spin the wheel is really going on. Spin the wheel, the wheel, wheel, wheel. Spin the wheel, Tim Lyber. Don't forget about Ronson's name, it's important. I reckon Ronson will win it or something, you know. No, he, he, Ronson didn't react for this spin the wheel. This, oh, isn't, this okay. isn't for the game. Oh, this is for a ticket, I see. Oh, I see. So we'll actually have to do this spin the wheel tomorrow, won't we, or something? Yeah, the, yeah. When, when does the offer finish? The uh, unknown could be. Um, oh yeah, because yeah, because I might pre-order if I don't win this thing, because you get like what is it, fifteen or twenty percent off. Anyway, they're all champagneing everywhere, and and uh, yeah, maximum points for T Rex uh, pole fastest lap, and the race wins sixty two minutes. That went. Oh God Jesus Almighty. Christ. Um. Yeah, a lot of penalties everywhere, a lot of DNFs. Um, yeah. Anyway, so Ronan Clark P1, Joe Corey P2, Apple Topo P3 after a disastrous last two laps from him. Daniel P4, Filippo P5, Bios, Jack Tebble, Pavel, and Zosti Renner are finishers. Janaid, Mohamed Faizan, Chris Pat, Elliot Parker, Angry Danish, I can only finish 40 laps in a season driver. Jamies, Isfod, Matthew and Alex all ran out the rest of the grid. Okay, almost finished this. Almost finished this. Spin the wheel. Okay. Good race, well done all. Congratulations for completing Monaco. That's it for another year.
next race is Singapore. There is, of course, another three races this weekend in Euro. Please do tune in for more chaos, especially F2, where we want a lot of reports, same as last week. Um, so Everybody Darius will be very, room. very busy. No more reports. No more yeah, reports. There will be something. As we're spinning the wheel live. Where? And who's going who's gonna to win this? Where? It is... It is... Yeast! Yeast! No. Woo! No, no, we've said no. What's happened? Well, I just realised he has four entries now. Four? Yeah. I'll get rid of him. Good. Oh, yeast. Well done, yeast. Uh, congratulations. Uh, I would say well deserved, but that would be a lie. Four entries. Ah, oh, but there's max three entries per raffle, so how are you going to do that one? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you screwed yourself with your wheel. <laughs> I have. I don't know what to do now. Oh, dear. I haven't got live in stream, so I can't even manipulate it. Well, he just gets an extra entry. Yeah, well fair, fair. Um, well, he's paid for enough, hasn't he? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, fair play. Well, it is what it is. Modern yeast. Anyway, adios, uh, viewers. I hope you've enjoyed our ramblings this evening. We should rename the stream Darius and Jack Rambles. Really we could do a podcast. Uh, I think we could, we could do a podcast. Uh, we could be like... Uh, the Matty F1 dude and the other bloke, we could rival them. Oh, Matt and Tommy. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon we can we can get that high. I get Pinkers on the show. This, be... There wouldn't be much talking. <laughs> no, well, you know, we're not we're not creating. I'm not creating a porno with you, Darius. You can do that on your own, not, own time. I, I, listen, I don't know where your mind is going. I'm just saying, you know, the, the two of us. We've been talking a lot about F1 now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you get pinkers on. Who else Bertie could we get on? Um, Ted probably... Kravitz would be good. Uh, we're steady on. I mean, we're not having Ted involved. Not with what we mean with, with pinks. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh. pinks all to ourselves, not with Ted as well. But um, no, yeah, get Ted on. Martin Brundle, I'd love to have him. I'd like to actually hear what he thinks about these grid walks and stuff because I know he said he hasn't liked them mm. before. He's missing quite a few races now, isn't he? Which is he's not at China, um, which is which is a real mm. shame. Like, we've got Rosberg in the commentary booth. Yeah, it's really rubbish, you know. Just while we're on stream, big complaint to Sky: up the prices, right, for the you know annual Sky Sports package and whatever. And then you have a look at F1. Uh, it's rubbish. They're all in the studio. None of them have travelled there. It's absolutely shambolic. And uh, if you're listening, Sky, get a grip. Anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure they're not listening, but anyway, if they are, boo! Get rid of them all. <laughs> right, I gotta go get some dinner before I gotta go commentate in another league. Alright, mate. Well, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, all viewers. And, uh, yeah, see you next um, week. Lots of love to all of you. And, uh, wait, wait, Chris was, wait, Chris was saying his name wasn't in the draw. No, it's a fix. Boo! Wait, maybe it is wrong. Oh, no. Mm, mm, Wait, where is Crystal's name? I don't know. I, I don't do this thing. I didn't even see what you were doing. It's like... I, I I... Anyway, I'm gone. I'm gone. Good luck. All right. Cheerio. Adios. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>